Hey guys, what's up? Now welcome back to a brand new video. Now today's video, a lot of people are going to have different opinions on that and that is completely okay. But today's video I'm going to be ordering and basically saying what my favorite Halo game is. We're going to order them from best to worst, so let's get straight to it. So the way that we're going to do this is we're going to rate both the campaign and the multiplayer out of 10 and then combine both of the points, make like a ladder. Some Halo games, I absolutely love the campaign and the multiplayer. Some I only like the campaign and some I only like the multiplayer. I'm going to break down why I gave the score what I did. I'm kind of biased towards some of the older Halo games, not going to lie. But I also enjoy the new ones. What I want to see from you guys in the comments section is your favourite Halo game, why it's your favourite. Or straight up give me a list of your favourite Halo games, your worst Halo games, exactly what I'm going to do. I'm curious to see which game is your favourite. Alright, so the first game we're going to talk about is Halo Combat Evolved. Now Halo Combat Evolved has my favourite multiplayer. I've always been biased towards Halo Combat Evolves multiplayer as you guys might know if you're a long term subscriber. And the campaign was the very first one I used to play with Dad, we used to play at campaign co-op. We'd play Legendary and he would run in and try to kill as many as he could and I would hide back and then we would rotate. So I have a lot of fond memories and a lot of nostalgia. What I love about the multiplayer is that it's ruthless, there's a huge skill gap when launching weapons, knowing respawns and timing power ups. Something that I feel newer games today just don't have. I guess that's the reason why it has a special place in my heart. So, that being said, Halo Combat Evolved, what would I rate the campaign out of 10? Probably give the campaign an 8.5 out of 10. And the multiplayer, I'd probably give a 9 out of 10. Now, some of you can probably say, Remy, but it's your favorite Halo game overall. Why isn't it 10 out of 10? And that's even because my favorite game isn't without its flaws. Next up, we have Halo 2 Classic and Halo 2 Anniversary. Halo 2 Classic and Halo 2 Anniversary are going to have two different entirely scores because the multiplayer is completely different, but the campaign score will be exactly the same. Halo 2's campaign was fantastic and I absolutely loved all parts of it, but just knowing what it could have been, knowing what was cut out of it, and knowing that there's so many big sections that they wanted in the game kind of disappoints me a little bit. I love the great journey and I love the end of the game on Halo 2, but I'm not a huge fan of High Chariot and the way Chief's story ends with Halo 2. I get that it leads into finishing the fight, but I guess eh, it's still kind of anticlimactic. Halo 2 Classic Multiplayer is probably one of the most unique games because of all the bugs that didn't get fixed in the original game. Button combos, super bounces, you name it. There's so many different things to do on Halo 2 Classic. For me personally, out of the original trilogy, it's probably the easiest out of the three games to snipe for me. For some reason, I've always found Halo 2 very, very easy to play online, at least compared to Halo 1 and Halo 3. Halo 2 is always going to be special because Bungie ran out of time and didn't really fix heaps of the multiplayer bugs. That's kind of what makes it special. I feel if they patched a lot of the things, Halo 2 just wouldn't be the same game it is. So, keeping that in mind, what would I rate them both out of 10? Halo 2 Classic, I'd probably give the campaign a 7.5 out of 10, and the multiplayer would probably be an 8 out of 10. Halo 2 Anniversary Multiplayer is basically the Halo 4 engine just being reconfigured to not have sprint. Very easy to aim, probably one of the easiest Halo games to get clips in in my opinion. Doesn't have many maps and it kind of lacks diversity. That being said, it's still pretty satisfying to get multi kills on the game regardless and I've had a lot of fun playing it over the years. As far as multiplayers go, I'd probably give it a 6.5 out of 10. Only because it lacks diversity and that really hurts its replayability. If it had more maps in future, maybe I'd come back to it and give it a higher mark in future. Next up we have Halo 3. Now Halo 3 is probably my favourite campaign out of the series. Something about it, I don't know why, always makes me come back to it and I genuinely love the campaign. Something about the elites and the humans teaming up in Halo 3 I really loved as a kid. And I still remember going to pick up Halo 3 with my dad, we went to the midnight launch. And just all around the memories I have from the multiplayer and the campaign are probably the strongest aside from the CE campaign. The only things I didn't really like about the Halo 3 campaign was Miranda's to war comment. And the fact that she actually sacrificed herself despite having a whole army beside her. That being said, for me personally, the campaign has a lot of, I guess, iconic moments like Arbiter Stabbing Truth that I've always loved. The multiplayer is probably my second favourite behind Combat Evolved. It's very, very satisfying to get a sniper clip in Halo 3. The other games feel a bit easy, and Halo Combat Evolved and Halo 3 have always been the hardest games to snipe in, at least in my opinion. For the campaign, I'd probably give Halo 3 an 8.5 out of 10. They're honestly so close between my two favourite games, it's so hard to pick them apart. That 0.5 is because of Miranda's uh, two war comment, and also the way she died was pretty schmear. Now to give the multiplayer an 8.5 out of 10. It would probably be my favourite game if the battle rifle was, I guess, better than what it really is. For me being an Australian playing from 2007 to 2010, especially on the bad, bad connection back in those days and playing on about 15 FPS, because you played on lag, Back in the day, you'd actually get almost 15 FPS of lag, and the game ran on 30 FPS, so you'd only be playing on about 15. It made it really, really hard to use the battle rifle. It really sucked. Even today, using the battle rifle on lag for Halo 3 is not great. Even the C Magnum on Combat Evolved is pretty consistent compared to it. 
That being said, you can just lead your shots and it's not too bad, but there are times I'm really questioning the hit registration, like how did that not kill him? Next we have Halo Reach, and I know Halo Reach, a lot of people actually regard Reach as their favorite Halo game. Me personally, I really disliked Bloom, I really disliked Armor Lock, and the multiplayer, uh, I guess it was really grey, there was always Forge maps, and that was a big one for me, all the grey Forge maps, there's no real life in any of the maps. And when Halo Reach came out, the DLC maps weren't that great either. I still had fun playing the game, I got Inheritor on Halo Reach. Campaign wise, I enjoyed the story, but I just wasn't a fan of the way the game looked. I wasn't a fan of the way the Spartan looks. The Haunted Helmet was pretty cool, but I don't know, I just wasn't as invested into Halo Reach's story compared to the original trilogy. So what I'd give it for a score out of 10. Now Halo Reach's campaign, I'd probably give it a seven. And for the multiplayer, I'd probably give it a seven and a half out of 10. I really loved Invasion. I loved the BTB on Halo Reach. The only really big downside was Halo Reach was lacking maps. Most of the maps were just taken from the campaign. But overall, I still really liked playing. And I sunk heaps of hours into it when it came to PC on the Halo Master Collection. Next up, we're entering controversial territory. We're heading into Halo 4 and Halo 5 Guardians. Halo 4's campaign, now what can I say about that? I really loved Halo 4's story. Believe it or not, I really did love it. It sucks the Prometheans were such terrible enemies to verse, and it really sucks that I had absolutely no interest in them, and they just seemed like annoying bullet sponges, and not a unique set of enemies that are supposed to be really strong. I really like the didact, I love everything about his character. There's something about the gameplay of Halo 4's campaign, and also the new elite and the way the grunts look, I just wasn't a fan of that. Multiplayer wise, I didn't like the no descope mechanic. That really bugged me. BTB on Halo 4 was actually pretty good. It's probably what the whole game was created around, but it wasn't a very competitive game. There's a cool couple game modes that came out of it, like Ricochet, that was a really cool positive that came out of it. But again, the loadouts, I still remember the bolt shot. Day one, when the game came out, they basically had a pocket shotgun. The bolt shot was basically a one-tap shotgun and it was absolutely overpowered and ridiculous and they had to patch it. I used to play free for all and we'd get King of the Hill and everyone would just be using a bolt shot the whole game. It's no surprise that the population dwindled very, very quickly with Halo 4's multiplayer. And even though I enjoyed playing it and I got clips in it, it's probably my least favorite multiplayer in the series, but I did enjoy the story of the campaign better than Reach's. Maybe because that was a continuation of Master Chief's story and I just wasn't as invested as much as I love Noble Six. But again, that's just all my preference. You guys might have completely different opinions. So what would I rate Halo 4 out of 10? Halo 4 multiplayer, I'd probably give it a six. And that's me being generous. The campaign, I could give it probably a seven. Still not the lowest scores that I'm going to give because we're going on to Halo 5. We're gonna talk about the campaign, the worst campaign in any Halo game ever. Now, every other game on Halo, I have completed Legendary. I've done Lasso, Legendary, All Skulls on the Halo 5s, I haven't even completed it on Legendary. I did it on Normal, hated it so much that I never touched it again. Wasn't a fan of Locke. I really loved Buck as an ODST, but I hated Fire Team Osiris. I was not a fan of them at all. It really felt like there was forced chemistry between them. That and there was absolutely no Master Chief missions, there was like three of them. But Halo Infinite should fix that. I reckon Halo Infinite's campaign is going to be fantastic. The only real positive I liked about Halo 5's campaign was Warden Eternal, and they butchered him to death because they made him appear six, seven times, made him a repeating boss. I'm gonna straight up say I'll probably give Halo 5's campaign a three or a four out of 10. There was very little I can pick that I actually like about that campaign. On the flip side of that, we got Halo 5 multiplayer, and I actually really loved Halo 5's multiplayer. If you guys haven't seen my final Halo 5 montage and you're a new subscriber, there are so many unique things in the sandbox that you can do in multiplayer that make for some incredible plays that had never been in Halo before. Launching yourself off objects like tires or boxes. Even a soda can. Launching across the map because you squish the Spartan into certain things. Unique sandbox clips you can do that I'm gonna throw on screen now that you could never do before. Because of the wreck weaponry that got added into the game was a huge positive. I didn't mind the wreck weapons too much because there was still playlists you could play that weren't just wreck weapons. I would have liked develop made BTB maps but I enjoyed Warzone for what it was. I also got rank 152 on Halo 5, so I must have enjoyed it. The sniper rifle was a little easy to use, but at the end of the day, it wasn't too big of a deal. The thing that I really didn't like about the multiplayer, if I had to pick something, was one, Spartan Charge, and two, the multi-kill timer being five seconds. Traditionally in Halo, it's been four seconds, then 4.5 for Halo 4 and Halo 2 Anniversary, but five seconds is way too long. There's other little things I could probably nitpick about it, but on the whole, I really loved playing the multiplayer. That's probably why I spent thousands of hours playing it. I'd honestly give Halo 5's multiplayer probably an 8 out of 10. And if the snipe had lower magnetism and the multi-kill time was a bit low and Spartan Charge probably wasn't in the game, I'd probably rate it a lot higher than that. So now we're going to add it in order and I've calculated the scores and here on screen now is my order of what I like the Halo games in. 
ODST campaign I really love. Again, I wasn't as invested into the campaign exactly like Reach because I guess it wasn't the Master Chief, but still I enjoyed it for what it was and I had fun playing it, especially the Endure achievement, that was really good, as well as the other Vidmasters, they were so fun to do as a kid. So guys, that's going to do it for today's video, hopefully you enjoyed this different type of video, I loved creating this, and a thing to keep in mind, even if you don't agree with my scores, or maybe you do, is that we're all Halo fans, we all love this series and we all want the series to do well. So thank you all so much for watching, I have a multi-kill video out tomorrow, and then I have another video for Halo Reach turning 10 years old, as well as a bunch of other videos coming out. And since you guys requested it, we're going to do Cursed Halo as well. So there's heaps of content coming out, guys. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.